Hey guys, welcome to this follow-up video on notation. Um, let's get started. So a lot of you people said they didn't have Neptune. I wonder why, wink wink. And um, they still wanted to uh, get the tips on notation though. So um, this is what I'll do. I'll create a Neptune and that's not going to be connected. Um, so I'm holding down shift just to check. Yep. Um, and now I'm going to enter the natural minor scale and C. And here you can see all the notes. Now what I'm going to do and what you guys can do is um, create a Thor blank initialized um, like this. And obviously that's been routed to the Neptune, so that's not what we want. So I'm going to create a mix channel and hook that up. Yes, wonderful. Okay, now I don't need the velocity lane and I don't need block mode. Um, all right. See, I'm recording this in uh, 720p resolution, which is um, really uh, unusual for me because I'm usually on a 24 inch uh, screen. So, yeah. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll to this lab to Neptune here and start drawing by drawing a group. And then I'll um, basically copy the notes from here to the note lane. So, I'm just going to switch to bar and copy the notes over. And I forgot this one. All right. Now, if I were to play this back, it would sound pretty bad because it's enti an entire scale. But you can keep this group handy um, at the beginning of a phrase and maybe set up your loop here. And now start by drawing in some arpeggios, maybe. So I'm just going to switch to 16ths here. And you can tell that I'm looking uh, on the left here and um, choosing what notes to pick just by um, having this indication on the left. So let's just see how that sounds. I basically just put random notes. All right, that sounds all right, really. I mean, it's not it's not it's nothing special. It's it's just you know a random selection of notes, but they're all in the same scale, which makes sense. So let me just copy this. Um, Sorry, got to get my snap right. Um, let me just copy this group over a couple of times. Add some chords that I played earlier. Alright, you get the point basically. Now, uh, what happens if you don't want to use the scale in C? Well, the nice thing about scales is that they're exactly the same in all um, in all uh, scales. <laughs> so basically, if I had a song, let's say in F, I would just sorry, <laughs> I would just let me turn this down a bit here. I would just move this up to F. So just grab the no lowest note, put it to F, and um, yeah. Now you can just start writing a new arpeggio in F. So uh, let me just delete all these, create a new group, and let's um, start by creating another arpeggio. And now, of course, you'd have to transpose these as well. So I'll just join these clips, select all, move them up to F, and uh, copy paste. Turn this back up. And uh, yeah, just another cop. Sorry, I'm, I'm noobed out. I haven't used Reason in like three weeks, so I'm kind of struggling right now. But let me just copy this over just uh, to prove my point here. So yeah, that's really simple for you just to... Um, you know, copy these notes as you see them on this screen right now. And that's the natural scale for you. You can move this anywhere. Please note that the lowest key is also called the root note. And uh, yeah, have fun uh, trying to create your own melodies, which should be much simpler now. <laughs> okay, thanks for keeping up with me and my uh, horrible 
a horrible way of using this program. As I said, uh, I haven't used it in like three weeks. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Dorian Code out.